Hi, Fire Signs, my Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Welcome to your love reading. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Overall energy I pulled for you, we have the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Um, temperance representing patience, um, letting go of the past, not really being too hung up on what's already happened, um, looking forward to the future in love, and also kind of just being really content with where you are when it comes to love, and allowing things to kind of unfold naturally, not rushing anything. All right, we have to stay optimistic about your love life and make the effort. So um, many of you need to kind of remain positive when it comes to love. Many of you may be in that weird space right now where um, you could be in some type of like a situationship with someone. You may have started just recently dating someone. So you kind of have to look at the positive out um, the positive outlook of the situation. Um, and some of you guys may be waiting on somebody to make some sort of effort here um some of you may be the ones who need to make the effort while you're waiting on somebody else to do something trying to remain positive you actually need to take some action here and do something yourself guys some of you guys may even see um from your patience and positive energy that somebody starts to make a little bit more effort Higher source of love and light. Thank you for this divine love message. For my fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Higher source of love and light. What divine love message do we have? For my fire signs at this time. All right, we have the King of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Empress in reverse. So many of you, um, you can maybe you could be dating somebody who is used to getting a lot of attention, um, and you could be someone who is very intuitive, someone who makes them think um, a little bit more on the abstract side of things. But although I do see this pair here, this connection. Um, and with the high priestess, this talks about your intuition. This talks about things being revealed. I feel like there are certain aspects about this person that are being revealed to you, which is requiring you to have patience, um, requiring you to kind of take things a little bit slower than maybe you originally had in mind. Um, because I do see here, this person is, does have the King of Wands energy, very playerish energy. Um, all right, and your intuition has been telling you something. You kind of something you've known something about this person. You may have even seen certain characteristics about them that started to kind of reveal themselves. Um, now you are. Now we have the Empress in reverse, denying the need for love, denying your need for a connection. So um, if this person has withdrawn their energy from you, you may have even withdrawn your energy right back, giving them the exact same energy because you're really just trying to be in a positive state right now. All right, fire signs, you guys aren't trying to trip over nobody. You're not trying to um, be acting all extra out. You're not trying to get all riled up over anything. You're really trying to be um, calm here. So that comes in and that is here with the Empress in reverse. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy, and the Two of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, so many of you are really abundant. Um, money could be work, money could be flowing in. Um, for you guys so and many of you could be really focused on your career right now at this time kind of providing for not only yourself but providing for the people um around you that you love that you care about as well all right and then we have the hero font in reverse and the two of wands in reverse so some of you are avoiding commitment right this at this time or you could um have someone avoiding commitment with you not really being ready to settle down at this time but still seeing you as someone who's very stable someone 
who um someone who's very motherly someone who um is very nurturing very caring i think that these are qualities that this person definitely sees within you but they are still players so they are not ready to settle down just yet they're not ready to move on to that next level of commitment which is why you are still sitting here in this temperance energy where you have to kind of play everything cool <laughs> all right now we have the two of wands in reverse so they're could be some confusion here between two people now this could be your partner um dealing with more than one person or this could be you maybe going back and forth dealing with one person more than one person um and that could be where the lack of commitment is coming in here it doesn't necessarily have to be your person you could be the one who is hesitant to commit to someone because maybe possibly you know you're getting the best of both worlds here or maybe possibly there could have been you could have been dating more than one person and it's getting a little bit trickier for you to choose I don't see what advice. What advice do we have here in regards to love for Hi. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? Hi, social love and light. Thank you. For this divine love message for my fire signs. What advice do we have for them in regards to love at this time? All right, we have clock. Need time, takes time, time to heal and progress. All right, we have separation. I told you for some of you, um, you may be in separate i knew that some of you may be in separation from this person that's why you're waiting for them to make some sort of effort here they may be waiting on you to make some effort too but i think that you definitely have decided to maybe start matching the energy that you're being given and this may just require some time Quite, quite a bit. Hi, social living night. What advice do we have? The dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Things coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. So, all right. We also have Cupid's arrow and kisses. All right. So, um, I do think that your person will start to feel. It may take a little bit of time, but I think that your person will start to feel the energy that you're giving them. Like I said, I see somebody who doesn't like to be controlled, somebody who doesn't like to be told what to do. And then you have someone here who is, you know, very intuitive, very intentional, um, and moving in really with in grace here. Um and then the matched energy, like, okay, you want to play? I'm going to play back. I can focus on my career. I can focus on myself. I can focus on my stability. You see me as that. And, but there's a lack of consistency. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of elevation. And it's because there's more than one option here to be taken. There's more than one option it can be from like I said, on your side or that side, which is why there's separation right now. There's this need to miss one another um, so that the effort can come in, so that somebody can come in and make some sort of effort here. Somebody can start to adapt. So I think that maybe you'll be adapting to this person, but at the same time, they'll be changing. So there will be this balance here. And then we have Cupid's arrow. So have faith, love is coming. So this person could surprise you with some type of like invitation. Um, somebody might pop up out of nowhere. Um, and then we have unconditional love, falling in love, giving and receiving affection. So in due time, everything will work itself out, it looks like, but it's just about like, okay, so somebody needs to make the effort. Somebody needs to make that move. And playing the waiting game, I don't know. What's going to happen? It's giving two stubborn people. Highest source of living. Okay, we're going to see what 
messages we have from your person at this time fire sign hi source of love and light please tell me we have you and i were too young all right for some of you there was a mature issue a maturity issue all right i left when i saw you with someone all right for some of you this person saw you with someone else okay i know i was a distraction from your pain I assume so all right i wish things could be different i'm gonna grab one more and I wish I had treated you better. Okay. Now we're going to grab some divine guidance in regards to love and this connection. Highest source of love and light. Thank you. Oops, let's reshuffle. Thank you for this divine love message for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically um i feel like a lot of you guys are manifesting what you desire and what you want in love and that is kind of like why when you don't receive it you're not really too pressured about it or when you feel like somebody's playing with you you're not really too pressured about it um with that in person reverse that like yeah you know what well, i don't really even need love like that anyway right now but you know we all need love but ultimately um there is a soulmate connection here definitely a divine connection um a connection that balances one another out um that is in the process of manifesting um some of you may be in separation from this soulmate right now at this time some of you um may live at a distance from this soulmate right now at this time some of you um may not have met them yet and that could be what their se the separation is and it's still a need to take time to bring the two of you together that's why many of you are um in this very patient energy not really looking for love because you know it's going to come to you when it's time but at the same time still um still awaiting that love to come into your life all right some of you guys need to go ahead and just make the effort. Um, if you have someone in your life that you know is worth the effort, it is time for you to go ahead and put that best foot forward. Well, all right, guys, that was your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment on the video if you enjoyed this reading. I'll talk to you all next time.